I do not know who Cesare Pavesi is or was, but he said, If you wish to travel far and fast, travel light. Take off all of your envies, jealousies, selfishness... Sorry, that's unforgiveness, selfishness, and fears. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to especially welcome those of you who are new here. I've seen you subscribing. Thank you so much. So, traveling light really is helpful. I'm getting ready to road trip with my friends this weekend. We're going to a conference in North Carolina. It's in the mountains. We're going to be up in a remote area. I don't think there's going to be any cell phone service there. So, you know, we're, we're pretty much on the edge of the world if there's no service for our cell phones. I'm really looking forward to it. There's going to be some good preaching and some good outdoor recreation. But I'm packing for the entire weekend in a backpack, plus one other bag. But that other bag is mainly because I'm going to vlog and so I need space to put my equipment. That's what I'm telling myself. If you like packing and travel videos as much as I do, I hope you will enjoy these tips. If you have some you'd like to share with me, I'd love to hear them. Without any further ado, well, let's get started. Okay, so the first mistake you don't want to make is in selecting the wrong bag. Now, both of these bags belong to me. They're both really nice brands. Um, this one was actually um, given to me. Somebody didn't want it anymore, which is fantastic. And this one I actually bought. I did spend quite a bit of money on this um, because bags and shoes are two areas where I'm willing to invest money because I know it will save me time, money, and uh, sore feet or backs in the long run. But this bag, although I take it to work with me and I'm able to use it for that on a long trip, it's just not efficient because this is the only extra pocket it has aside from this big one. I can't organize and sort things as efficiently and even though they're about the same size, I can fit so much more in this one because it has so many exterior pockets and interior pockets as well. I am such a huge fan of this bag. Once I've used it a little longer, I think I'm going to do a review on it. But one thing I love about it that I will show you really quick, if I, oh, there we go, if I can find the zippers, is how far it opens. This section, it stops the zipper because there's, you can fit a water bottle on the outside. Also a huge plus, never travel without a bag that can't fit a water bottle on the outside. Water bottle. Water bottle. All right, look. Pack with packing cubes inside your bag. I'm just saying, even if it has interior pockets, that's fantastic. These are all my clothes for the weekend, except for a few things I have to add in there. But it ha it's, it's a great bag. So pick a bag that's efficient. You've got to make use of every square inch. Speaking of making use of every square inch, please do not pack your soap in a container like this. In a suitcase, that's fine, but in a backpack, you're going to need this extra space. It's so much more efficient to wrap your soap in a washcloth, and if you need to, put that in a plastic bag. It's so much more squishable, and as a bonus, this is not going to be messy and gross and wet inside if you have to pack your soap when it's wet after you're leaving your place where you've been staying. On the theme of toiletries, please, please, please do not pack your toothbrush with this cover. Do you want to know why? I'm sure that most people who travel use this because that's what I have seen when I'm traveling, but please don't do it. This covers the top of your toothbrush. Do you think that's the only part of your brush that goes in your mouth? No! You, if you're brushing really well, you probably get a good section of the toothbrush into your mouth. If you're only covering this, and this is rolling around in some pocket of your bag, do you want to know how many lint bubbles and... lint bubbles, that's not a word. Lint balls and little fluffs and stuff and germs that's getting on that toothbrush that you are sticking in your mouth because you're only keeping this part clean? Don't do that. It's like one of my pet peeves. Do not do this. I just got this because my old one wore out. You see, this kind of toothbrush, your, your toothbrush is completely hidden inside and it's so much more sanitary. Don't do this. Don't pack a lot of makeup! If you are a person who wears makeup, here's a tip for you. You don't need to bring everything. I'm sure you know that, but you might ask yourself, what are the bare necessities? So, from the perspective of somebody who has no clue what she's doing with makeup, if you feel like you have to wear some makeup to feel put together and you are wondering what the basics are, these are the three things you need. The three things you need. Okay, so eyeliner, lipstick, and some concealer. If you have those three things on and you apply them well, you can look like you have a full face of makeup on. Or, if you are comfortable without any makeup whatsoever, then go that way and you don't have to pack any makeup. 
This is a no-brainer, but don't pack large size items. Get tra travel versions of the same thing, but not just toiletries, even though that's usually what everybody thinks of. Also, if you're like me and you just have to have your Bible with you everywhere you go, and I hope you are like me because that's a great thing to have with you, get a travel size version that you can take with you and not <laughs> take up so much space in your bag. Even with all my trips, this is actually the first time I'm traveling and taking my own advice. So this is a brand new Bible. I'm super excited to think of all the miles it's going to go on with me. And this one will, <laughs> will last longer since look at how banged up it's already gotten. And I think I've only taken it on one international flight. I have had it less than a year and it's already starting to show signs of wear because I lug it around everywhere. If, like me, you're traveling to a place where you have to bring your own towels, do not bring the fluffiest towel in your bathroom. Go for either a beach towel, which works really well, or if you can get your hands on one, a microfiber type... What is this called? I can't remember what you call it. Let me see. Uh, I don't know. I think this is like a microfiber towel. It's a fast drying. It's specially made to be fast drying, and it really is. It's fast drying. But the the point I'm making for packing is these fast drying towels, not only are they convenient when you have to pack them up fast, but they fold so much smaller than something so fat and luxurious like this. So this definitely is a must over this. Do not, and I repeat, do not have any article of clothing in your bag that you have not test run before. It's, it's important on any trip to have clothes that you are comfortable in and that you have worn before and you know will work, but it's especially important when you're packing in a backpack and space is limited and you only have a certain number of clothing items. You don't want to be that person who's constantly... Okay, so I have been on so many trips where I bought new clothes for the trip and they didn't fit right and I didn't know that till I got there and so I spent the whole time you know either pulling them up or shifting them and I was uncomfortable because I hadn't test run the clothes first don't do that I break this rule all the time I'm breaking it this trip actually <laughs> last but not least do not travel anywhere without marking your luggage even if you are not flying I'm driving this weekend or riding with a driver but we have a group of us, and I don't want to get my bag left somewhere or mixed up with somebody else's bag. And so you must mark your bag at all times. It's a rookie mistake to not mark your bag. Now, I will say, if you're traveling internationally, you may not want to fill out all of this information. Um, for example, I don't want somebody to be able to copy down my email address and send me spam email or stuff like that. But you should at least have a telephone number that you can be reached at and your name, even if you don't want to fill out the rest. That's important, in case somebody finds your bag and is honest and wants to return it to you. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it, maybe learned something. If you can teach me something, have at it. I would love to hear from you. If you like this video, then like this video. Por favor. Muchas gracias. And if you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? I would love to have you join the family. It's free. Big red button. Can't miss it. Um, yeah, that's all for now. I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. Goodbye!